Welcome back, you guys, to the vlog. Y'all, this is vlog number four. Y'all, like, can y'all believe it? We made it to number four already. Oh, and before we get started, I went and got my nails did. Let me see if we can get this. It's really not showing up the colors, but it's like four or five different colors that I got on my uh, nails right now. And y'all, like... Are these cute? Now, you know I'm a huge fan of doing my own nails, but you know, sometimes it's good to kind of switch it up. Y'all, it was a hassle. I did try to film it, but I ended up having to go to two nail salons. So I was just like, I'm not even gonna finish this video, like, cause it was a hassle, but the second nail salon got me right. So had to show those off real quick. Y'all know I like to go deep. <laughs> I'm talking about conversation wise, okay? Get your, get your minds out the gutter, okay? <laughs> and I want to talk about this comment that I received from Stink Stink. Now, she was talking about, you know, another beautiful Virgo with a gap, and I thought that was so sweet, but it made me think about like society views of beauty standards or just maybe certain things that people don't find attractive, but you may think it's attractive or, you know, somebody else. So I wanted to talk about what you guys think are, um, are some different types of beauty standards that maybe aren't, you know, beauty standards in society, but maybe you feel like it's a beauty standard or even for yourself. Like for myself personally, I've never ever wanted to close my gap. Uh, speaking of my gap, we have a dentist appointment coming up in a few days. It's with a brand new dentist and I already know they're going to ask me if I want to close my gap. Like, there's nothing wrong with my teeth, but every single dentist I've ever gone to since I was a little girl has always brought my gap up and they're like, you want to close it? You want to close it? Do you want to get some braces? And I'm like, no. They're like, oh, we got Invisalign. I'm like, no. Like, why is it my gap has been a problem for other people but i've always found it attractive about me like me personally i really think that my gap is pretty so when i received that comment and i've received a, a few other comments about my gap like it made me think about like let's kind of talk about this you know here on the channel what's something that you guys think is maybe something beautiful to you but other people don't approve or they want you to change it I know a big thing when I was in high school was girls that were bow-legged. Like the guys went crazy over it. They was like, oh, she bow-legged. And I was like, well, what about the girls with the knock knees? Like, I have knock knees. That's when, if you don't know what knock knees are, it's like, when your knees don't go straight, they kind of go in like that. <laughs> now, I've kind of mastered a way to you know, pose with it. But I just wanted to throw that out there. Let me know in the comment section below what are some beauty standards that you guys maybe think is not um, accepted in society, but you do. I'm about to do a little bit of cleaning and me and Rich have a date to go to the movies. So we will bring you along for the ride. And no, it's not John Wick. John Wick don't come out yet. But um, we got a free movie because we got rewards. You know, you know me, I be couponing child. Like y'all, y'all stick with me. I'ma save y'all some money. So we're gonna go to the movies tonight and yeah, I'll bring y'all along. Let's go. Hey guys, we're waiting on the movie to start, but wanted to let y'all know this is not the normal movie theater we go to. We normally go to the 40X where they're moving seats and everything, but since this was a free movie with our reward points, it's just a basic movie theater. So we definitely prefer the 40X movies, but this will do. It's a work, it's a work. Always good to be able to see a free movie on a Friday night. Just got out of the movie. We saw the movie 65. It was okay. It's it pretty wasn't, good. It wasn't bad. It's pretty good. Not, not bad at all. So uh, my eyes yeah. well because I'm tired. <laughs> 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 good night. We'll see y'all tomorrow. 
Good morning. It's the next day waiting on our Kroger delivery driver to come and deliver our groceries. If you didn't watch the first vlog, I mentioned it in the first vlog that we get our groceries delivered to us. So I'm just waiting in the garage. Richard went to go take some trash show and uh, then we'll get our groceries and start the rest of our day. Kroger delivery. Make sure y'all get one of them wagons too, cause that's gonna, that's gonna help you if you in an apartment. At the Florida Mall now, which is of course here in Orlando, Florida. And we're about to get our rings cleaned. And maybe check out some jewelry while our rings are getting cleaned, so. We walk it through JC Penny. It's still around, it's still around. Yeah, I thought they, I honestly thought they went bankrupt and that they closed, so. No, that was Sears. They, oh, it was Sears that closed, yeah. okay. Some of them still open, but most of them closed. Okay. I know Richard gone, wanna go here. Every time, every time we go to the mall, that's what he want. I have to get this one. <laughs> we, we might be back, Cinnabon, we might be back. We finally have made it to where we need to be. Our rings are both um, from Hellsburg, and Hellsburg is only in the mall. Yeah. So that's the only reason why we came to the mall, because there's, you know, there's a ton of people out here. It's spring break. Um, but yeah, we gotta get our rings full. We just dropped off of our rings, so now we're about to walk around, see if we can find some rings, maybe for 10, 20 years down the road, we wanna do some upgrades. So we gonna do some window shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you see anything that you like, baby. Y'all, I think I found one that I really like. I don't know, what y'all think of the emerald cut? Y'all like them? Y'all don't like them? Let me know. They also got some solitaires over here, but I'm really not, I'm not into solitaires like that. They're pretty though, but I don't know. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm more of an emerald cut kind of gal. Let me know if y'all y'all like emerald cuts. No Cinnabon today. Maybe next time. We trying to we trying to be good today. Trying. Trying to be good. Trying. We got our rings clean, so now we about to go back home, child. Get out of this busy mall. Now several of y'all been telling me that J.C. Penny do hair. Um, and I'm in JCPenney right now. I didn't even know they were still open. So I'm gonna just try to see if I can find like the hair section up in the store. Because, uh, you know, that could be a potential video if they have a hair section. Hold on, let me ask somebody. Hi, Hi yes, uh, do you guys have a, a beauty section? Like for hair? Yes, the hair salon is in the corner. Ah, okay, okay. all right, thank, thank, you, you, thank you so you. much. So you go Luggage. Here, go okay, y'all, so. The real nice lady over in the beauty section told me that they do have a hair salon here. So, if y'all want to see me get my hair done in the future at JCPenney's, drop that hair emoji with the little girl when she's going like this. If you got that, do, do that emoji if y'all want to see me do my hair at uh, JCPenney's. Y'all, let me tell you something funny that happened today. So, we woke up, we were supposed to try out a new church. I looked at the clock and I was like, babe, it's like 9.30. And he was like, it's 9 30. I was like, yeah. He was like, church started at 9. I was like, needless to say, y'all, it's um time saving, daylight savings time. So we missed church. So we said, well, let's just go ahead and get up and start our day. So we about to, instead of going to the gym, we are about to go uh do like some walking outside, get some vitamin D from the sun, nature trail. Oh, you're probably wondering what's on my face. Uh, I just put on some sunscreen. This is the only sunscreen that we use. It's the um, Elta MD. I'll, I'll put it in the um, I'll put it in the description box. But um, yeah, I'm about to rub this in, and then we're gonna go for a walk. All right, quick intermission. We uh, decided to come to Costco because we are running low on paper towels, and we get our paper towels in bulk at Costco. And we're like, hey, while we're here, let's go ahead and get some gas. There is a long line, so I guess everybody had the same idea to get gas here on a Sunday. So yeah, we just waiting to get some gas. Hey babe. What's up? Napkin. Right Make sure you use a napkin, paper towel when you pump the gas, cause all types of hands and germs and stuff. Let me know if y'all do that. If you don't, 
You should try it. And make sure you show your Costco card. There you go. Good morning. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you don't get your Costco card. They're going to be looking at you like, who is you and why is you up in here in our establishment? Oh, man. Look at these. Y'all, these massage chairs? How much they want for them? Oh, no. Nobody. Nobody. They trying to sell it. We came over, found the paper towels. Right, we got the paper towels, now we can roll out. I wonder where the people with the samples are. I only saw one person, it was just a sample of cheese, and I don't want to just be biting a piece of cheese. They used to have people with like meat and like um, casseroles and stuff, but I don't see that no more. Let me know if y'all Costco got the sample people with the good food, because this one don't, it don't have the good food right now. I'll take a pit stop and get some of this nice Costco pizza, y'all. There you go right there. Yes, sir. There it is. <laughs> We're gonna work out. We gotta have some energy to work out. You know? Yeah. Don't eat pork, so we got the cheese, y'all. Costco got some good pizza. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but you got it, and it's less than two dollars for a slice of cheese pizza. It's very filling. Yeah. Right. We told y'all we was gonna work out, so we gotta burn them calories from Costco pizza. <laughs> so we out here in the sun, getting this lovely vitamin D. Already starting to lose some breath. Cause we walk at a pretty fast pace, but we're gonna be out here probably out, about two out, hours. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, I see the car. We got the right of way though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. He paid attention. <laughs> Pedestrians. <laughs> All right. We'll come back in about an hour and a half. All right, guys. One thing about Central South Florida, there's literally water, wildlife everywhere. Yeah. We also had a good friend that recently moved away. That. He was out here one evening and he spotted a Florida panther right out here one evening. It's crazy. So we always are on our P's and Q's whenever we come out this way, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. Really nice to walk out here and just kind of enjoy nature. And we the dummies out here walking where panthers is. <laughs> hey, it's during the day. I don't, I don't think they hunt during the day. Do Florida panthers do they oh, hunt during I don't the know, day? baby. I don't know. I don't know. But I know y'all can't really see it, but your girl got some sweat on her right now. We just slowed the pace down to film real quick but we about to pick the pace right back up let's pick it up let's, let's go. go let's get to work oh we got Rich some Scott. birds you hear them yeah i hear them dinosaur birds so somewhere. oh shoot we got some more birds we just made the mile mark so if you hear my voice a little out of breath that's why but yeah they out here i guess they're getting brunch child yeah and we about to about to keep on pushing. Keep it on. I definitely know that I'm sweating now. My pits <laughs> probably sweating. I got some boob sweat too. Okay. That's just me. TMI. Hey, TMI. TMI. Baby, that's what you're doing about. You people want to know. Like, they can I know relate that you to got this person? Sweat. Like, you want me to act like I don't sweat? Yeah. No, I'm just. Playing. That's that's real. That's real life. TMI. Boob sweat. Boob sweat is real. It is. You know what? I totally agree. Yeah. It's real. Thank I've, you. I've seen it. <laughs> You've seen it. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm about to be real adventurous and try to take this color out for the second time now. If it works, I will make a YouTube short about it. Wish me luck. Good morning, y'all. Look, look at my hair. <laughs> it basically worked. I have a little green hue left in my hair. I don't know if it's coming across on camera. Um, it's the next morning and yeah, I think I'm gonna just go for it and dye my hair. So I'm gonna make a separate video about that. Hopefully it turns out correctly. All right, what you just said, baby? I said on a scale from I don't know what I'm doing, too. I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. Where are you right now? And what I say? You just start laughing. <laughs> I don't think that's too good. What's you? Y'all, when I say today has been a day, I 
started this process like 20 minutes after Richard went to work. He goes to work at eight. Um, he's about to get off work in 20 minutes. So, <laughs> needless to say, I will not, I probably will not be vlogging tomorrow because my feet are tired. I've been standing up the entire time. Um, and I still have to rinse this out, twist my hair, try to figure out how I'm gonna wear it, and see if the color works. So yeah, we, we done vlogging for the day. <laughs> Bye, I'll see y'all in like 48 hours. Well, I planned on sleeping in today, but my body was like, you need to go work out. So, got babe over here somewhere. He's somewhere over there. We're about to work out. We done made it to the gym. Y'all, my hair is still wet, so I can't really tell what color it is, but um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it looks. And yes, I'm working out with my rollers on. Y'all, just ignore my facial expressions. I was really tired because, you know, the day before was a really long day. But let's get into the comments that I really enjoyed reading. So this one was from Marvin and Joss. They were talking about my playlist and how they liked it. Y'all know I be jamming out in the car. So, y'all, thank you so much. I just be, you know, really in my zone in the car. Maya was talking about she also has that random hair laying around. If y'all watched that video when I was trying to do my hair, I tried to bleach some fake hair or some real hair that I had in the house. It didn't work. And then DG was like, um, when you had that Target bag, I was like, what happened to Kroger? Baby, yes, I still, y'all know I am dedicated and faithful and loyal to Kroger. So I had my Kroger bag on deck. Don't worry. And then the final comment of the day came from Cheeseball talking about how many white t-shirts are you going to ruin? Y'all, I promise y'all I'm using the same white t-shirt with a hole in it i just wash it like i'm not out here going through bags and bags of white t-shirts it's the same old white t-shirt <laughs> but thank y'all so much you know i really enjoy reading y'all's comments and i'll be responding to y'all so you know y'all keep you know showing me love i'm gonna keep showing y'all love hair has been up in these rollers for two days i just got out of the shower let me see if i can show y'all see to go to roll right there um but i'm gonna get dressed do a little bit of makeup and then i will show y'all how my hair looks oh i'm excited y'all i'm coming to publix because we need some bread y'all but this is how my hair is turning out it's cloudy outside and it's kind of like a little cold front so we're not really getting the full effect of my hair right now because the sun's not out but i wanted to show y'all that Okay, bread is on aisle 19. And you know your girl got a coupon. Cause that's my business, that's how I roll. And, oh y'all, I didn't even ask y'all, what y'all think of my hair? Like, what y'all think? <laughs> the coupon is for Sarah Lee Artis, is it Artisano? Artisano? Anyway, it's the artis Art of something bread. That's nature's own. What kind of bread y'all be eating? We like nature's own and we like Sara Lee. Let me know what kind of bread y'all into. All you gotta do is download the Kroger, not the Kroger, the Publix app. See, it's a dollar fifty off. And then I also have the um, Sara Lee bread. It's a dollar off. Good morning. It is Thursday. I really did not feel like waking up and going to the gym today, but I was like, you know what? Summer is right around the corner and I wanna be on somebody's beach. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this day, get this day started. I'm on the elliptical, no. I'm on the stair climber and I'm gonna see if I can do 20 minutes today on this bad boy. Because I got goals I wanna meet. And I'm gonna do it on level five. Hope this brings some motivation to somebody out there. Let's get it. We did it. 20 minutes, y'all. If I could do it, you could do it. Whew. Let's go. Good morning. It is Friday morning. We have a dentist appointment with a brand new dentist today because of course our insurance was like 
not our insurance, but our previous dentist was like, oh, well, we're no longer accepting your insurance. So we're like, so we have to hunt and find a new dentist child. So today is our first visit with the new dentist. And I know they're gonna ask me if I wanna fill in my gap. I already know I'm prepared for it. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll try to take you along for the ride. Hey, how are you? Look at Rich filling out his form. Y'all, this form, it be so many questions. It be taking forever. It's take longer than the whole appointment sometimes. Doing my x-rays. Richard is in another room somewhere getting his x-rays done. Um, I don't know why we always have to do x-rays. Like, it's, I think it's like every year whenever you get your your annual cleaning or whatever but that's probably like the part that I don't like the most whenever you have to clamp down and bite because my bite is so small and they're like open wide and look that's like the <laughs> that's the widest I can open my mouth <laughs> look. that's it and they're like open it and I'm like it is open <laughs> So you gotta bite down on those things and it'll be like hurting like the roof of my mouth sometimes. Uh, but they, they were really nice. Uh, the dentist office is actually a lot bigger than our last dentist office. So that was pretty cool. And the staff there, it's a lot more staff here. So I feel like we'll be more in and out versus being there for, you know, two hours, but we'll see. Now I'm not gonna do any drilling or, you know, anything like that on this video, especially since I know there's plenty of people out there that are scared of going to the dentist. I promise you, this is just him cleaning my teeth. There's no drilling involved, um, but it's very important to go, you know, twice a year. Some Sometimes people go more than twice a year. Get your teeth, you know check get them cleaned you know try to do all the preventatives that you need to keep your teeth healthy your gums healthy all that good jazz Whew. okay we just got back that was what a great experience everybody was super nice the doctor um well from the x-ray person to the doctor or the dentist um down to the hygienist like everybody was great um you know miss miss ronya uh, she she has great teeth. We both have decent teeth, but um what? yeah. What tell them the news. Yeah, I got a cavity. <laughs> I have a cavity, it's right over here. Now luckily I don't feel any pain or anything, but um they did give me some paperwork. Come I have my uh, my appointment scheduled to get a filling. It'll be in the summer. Um, but I did put myself on a wait list just to see if I could get one sooner. But it actually turned out to be a little bit better experience than our previous yeah. uh, dentist. So yeah. even though our previous dentist no longer accepted our insurance, this place was actually better. Yeah. And um, much better experience. A lot yeah. Friendlier staff. Yeah. I can say that. Yeah, y'all, real quick, y'all, I am 36, a proud 36, and this is my first time ever going to a dentist, and they did not ask me to fill in my gap. Yeah. Yeah. A win is a win. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. We are driving to church. Hopefully, we like this one. It's a new church. You guys know if you've been following the vlogs, we have not found a new church home yet here in Orlando. Um, but yeah, we are getting ready to go. So, fingers crossed, we like it y'all the service was good the music was good um it's the pastor both pastors are husband and wife and they're very engaging and we really liked what the scripture was and the word was for the day so that was a nice service very nice service very nice service y'all <laughs> yeah yeah it good it was good you think you would come back oh yeah definitely we'll be back we'll yeah be back. I, would, I would definitely come very back very nice vibe very nice feel there Felt very, very welcome, nice you know so yeah sure too very nice work definitely <laughs> oh let's get in the car it's cold hey guys um thank you for watching the vlog i'm actually trying to recover from a severe migraine right now um I don't suffer from migraines. I've probably only had four or five of them my entire life. But, uh, yeah. Um, 
that's what we're going through right now and uh just trying to stay away from lights and you know screens and stuff for right now because that just hurts my head and trying to stay away from like loud noises so yeah not sure when i'll be able to edit this vlog but um hopefully uh the migraine doesn't last too long and uh thank y'all for watching and if you know any natural remedies for migraines for me for the future just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching and until next time peace